Hi. Uh, today we have as a guest Deborah Poneman, who is uh, has a very interesting story and has had a very interesting career. And we're here at the Conscious Life Expo, and it's 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 another great show, another another amazing year. And every now and then you run into people five or six times in the elevator, and you're going, "That's coincidence or what?" You know, and like, and you go, "That's unusual." And then because there's so many people here, there's thousands of people that have come over the weekend, and yet every now and then you bump into the same people, and you're people are making these intense eye contact connections and a lot is being exchanged more so than business cards and what have you so it's 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 nice so we just met and it's on that scale and and I'd like to find out more about you and our audience I think will be very intrigued as well so please well I won't start from the year I was born, but I will start about 30 years ago telling you my what story. What sign are you? <laughs> Let's do that. Of I, all right, well, so am I. Okay. All right, Actually, your birthday. February 2nd. January 24th. All right. Okay. Excellent. So, year of the dragon. Na absolutely, now that we have I'm the year of the dragon. 52. Me too! Oh! Kidding me? I'm not kidding you. I'm older than you. I'm dragon. How can you? Be? Oh, you I'm are. Yeah, by a couple what? days. Eight days older oh, than you. Oh, let's nine start quibbling. <laughs> For God's sake, I've got more gray hair. I have, I have good genes. <laughs> <laughs> In that way. Okay, so here we were, 19, actually 1971, I became a teacher of Transcendental Meditation, and for the whole decade of the 70s, I taught TM and worked for the Transcendental Meditation Organization, but long around 1979, 1980, I realized that I actually had to earn some money. It was time that I had like health insurance or car insurance or a car. <laughs> wow, so, yeah, so, 1980, it took me a little longer, but yeah. <laughs> so what I did was I left the community that I was living in, in Fairfield, Iowa, and I moved to Los Angeles so that I could make some money. And while I was working for a financial company, which was so not dharmic for me, but I thought I could make some money and then get back to what I really love to do, I was invited to a money seminar. It was called Money Magic. Mm -hmm. And I thought, actually, I thought it was an investment seminar. And I thought I could go and get some points with my boss. And I walked in, and the guy is talking about basically the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. So it's 1981, and he's talking about if you think thoughts of prosperity and abundance, you'll attract prosperity and abundance into your life. Lack and limitation, you'll attract lack and limitation. And he said things like the quickest way to become wealthy and successful is by helping other people become wealthy and successful. Hmm. You can mentor them, you can support their success, giving them contacts, networking, uh, or you can just wish from your heart their success and prosperity. But whenever you do that, you open up a channel for your own hmm. success and prosperity to come in. Well, I'm like blown away by this because I'd never heard it before. Again, yeah. it was 30 years ago. Sure. But every cell in my body was vibrating. Like, mm -hmm. man, I know what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. 